Okay, I am live. Sorry about that. I'm a little bit late. <laughs> I got carried away picking <laughs> the leaves and stuff in my garden. And I haven't cleaned up from last night. I didn't realize my son had to work this morning or today. So I was busy with the dogs. So sorry for the mess. But we're gonna make more of a mess anyway. So did you guys happen to oh hi Lena? How are you feeling? I had a good night. Have you been to sleep yet? <laughs> or did you just get up? <laughs> it was fun. I really enjoyed it. I really did. We got to do more of them. You slept till noon. Awesome. Well, that wasn't very long, really. <laughs> Minimal. Because it was already 5.30, probably, or 6 o'clock in the morning when you, got, when you went to bed. <laughs> Trying to make some room on my desk here. We're going to need it. All right. So, give me a bit of room. I have some paints and sprays out here I could probably get rid of. We won't be using those. Just put them over there. All right. Yeah, it was great fun. I really enjoyed it. Ginger ale. Yeah, so if you guys weren't here last night, we did um, the 10-hour fill your sketchbook challenge. And this was mine. And we didn't complete it. <laughs> but that's okay, because I can always go back. I'll probably complete it on my uh, membership. and And then I'll show it when it's done so if you want to watch me finish it you can join my membership on youtube or patreon and it's just in time for patreon because this is the best time to um join because it's the first of the month and that's their billing how they do their billing is every first of the month so that was that and then this goes into this side and you can open them too, like this. So, kind of, we did that. And then you can do this. That's my bee. <laughs> I love those bees. And we're still working on a story for this one. So I'm not done this part yet. <laughs> we have a funny story about this. <laughs> Uh, you'll have to go and watch the video from yesterday. <laughs> yes, it was super fun. And I loved yours. You got to check out uh, Lena's channel. And um, she's a fantastic artist. So Miss Linux 2010 is her YouTube channel name. So I think I put this. I'll just stick them there for now. So, um, last, oh, where did I put them now? 
Thursday. Thought I brought them down. Um, we did the Akua. Did I not bring them down? Just a minute. I'm pretty sure I did, but oh yeah, I did. Nope. Nope, that's not them. Um I swore I brought them down the other day. Oh, no. Hmm. I think I might have forgot to bring them down. But we're going to be printing on a bunch of plates. Uh, you know what? I gotta go upstairs. I think I left them all upstairs. I'll be right back. <laughs> Jeez. I thought I was, I thought I was all prepared. the studio fairies are playing games again because it's not upstairs and they're in a box so it's not like they would be hard to find oh my god where the heck did I put them Ah, here they are. They were covered by my spray inks. <laughs> I still have piles of stuff laying around from last night. All right. There's what I got. Put this aside. Now. So, the Aku inks last thursday we did that so we got we got a set you can get a beginner set and it gives you um this is the this is the pigment the base for doing pigments you can buy um liquid pigments to add to it and this one is crimson red they gave you and they also gave you hensa yellow these are two ounce um, bottles and a black and then also they gave you a liquid pigment in this is phthalo blue and then a blending medium that you can use for all of these basically so that's what we got in the set and I, said, I think the set's around 35 dollars if you want to give them a try hey Flo so I was so impressed I went out and bought some more because <laughs> I love them uh, they have no smell they're waterproof and permanent once they're dry and they're non-toxic they're made out of a um what was it again um soya uh mix so i got um oxide green phthalo blue pyro red 
or no, pyro orange. And phthalo green. Carbazole red, or not, Carbazole violet, sorry. And this one is, where's the umber, raw umber. And this one is Pr Prussian blue. Magenta and metallic gold. We'll see what this one's like. And then I also got a release agent. So this is supposed to be a game changer when it, you're using um, any kind of uh, metallic paint. I'm going to see if this will work with paint too. Because I find a lot of times when you're using metallic on your gel pr pr jelly print, it doesn't always come all of it off. Well, apparently this works. And then I got two um, liquid pigments in the Henza Yellow and Quinacridone Red. And I already had a blue. So um, that's my primaries that I can work with if I want to make some other colors. All right, so any questions? Um, let's see. So this is what we did last week. And we used rice papers and I have a, a non-treated um, butcher paper that's in white and they do not buckle or wave or anything which or even um, make um you know sometimes it's really hard to put say tissue paper on and you'll get these wrinkles didn't seem to do it with this now i just found my uh, other tissue paper so we'll try that out um they don't dry on your plate. It's a different way of jelly printing, which I'm fine with. In a way, I kind of prefer it. So these were just the uh, like the first, you know, when you're putting plants down, you have to get rid of the background. But I like the backgrounds even. I think they're awesome. Another one, and you can paint with it too. Um, that's on black, and it's it doesn't leave any um, texture at all. It's basic. It's a little smoother, I should say. There's no bumps or anything like you get with paint, and there's no weight to it. Thanks, Jilly. These were using stamps, so you can use your stamps with it. These are leaves printed with it. Stencils and leaf prints and stamp. More leaf prints. It does have a different look, too, and you can do transfers. Here's the transfer. Now, this one wasn't the greatest, but it is... Um, a lot clearer than the paint one I find. And I had bubbles in my plate. More. And you hardly have to use any paint. I love that one. So you can see the detail of the leaves. So that was a leaf print. More. Um, Rice paper gives a nice effect. It almost get, has a, um, with the rice paper, it seeps right through. I like this one too. 
It definitely gives a different look. Look at the color of that one. Isn't that gorgeous? More leaf. This one's neat too. It, it um, seeps in. It's almost like you've done a Daddy Vans thing to it. It's cool. More, I use some of that on my book that we were playing with. So I thought, well, we got to try some more of this, see what else it can do. using uh, my newspapers up. I've got a whole drawer full. Just cut them in half so I can play with them. Put this over here for now. So what have you guys been doing? What is what's on your art table right now? Would you like to see some more challenges? And what kind of challenges would you like to see or participate in, maybe? It does. Ha um, it's a great way of exploring things that you wouldn't typically explore or do when you do a, ch a challenge. Uh, my jelly plate. Oh, you, you're getting ready to jelly plate? Or you would like a challenge on your <laughs> jelly plate? Yes, art challenges are fun, yeah. I really enjoyed it. It was fun. Now you can look for art challenges on YouTube too and you don't necessarily have to be officially join them and the challenge. You can do it yourself. That's what we did because it was already over. Otherwise I might have um, gotten in touch with them to see if we could join. <laughs> and, and it helps find new people too, which is fun. Venture on. All right. I think I have everything now. But you never know. Let's stick these over here. And I thought I would let, let's try and um, play with this. This release. Now, apparently, let's see what it says for ghost print. Roll release agent on top of the ghost plate. Wait about five minutes and then print. For metallic inks, roll or paint metallic skin on plate. Roll release agent or the metallic. Wait about five minutes, then print. Okay, so... Oh, paint, metallic, and complete. So you roll this on top of the metallic. Wait five minutes and then print. Uh -huh. Okay, so we can try that. Here it goes.
Okay. Uh, I like working on two plates. Um, now, I didn't clean mine. I know. I know I'm bad. I'm bad. But I don't. It doesn't bother me. It's, it has a bit of. I wonder. Oh, well, that's what I'll do. Oh, let's try that. Let's put a release agent over top of this. This would be a ghost print. <laughs> there we go. Let's try it. Oh, I didn't even wipe these down. These are bad. Let me wipe these first. See? They don't dry on your roller. This is just a baby wipe. And you always have a clean roller. How about that, guys? Let's just try and get this off, see if it, it'll come off. Oh, there, look. Look, that's strange. Why wouldn't it have come off before? But there's still a bit of that black underneath. So let's see if we can get that up with that release um, stuff. Now they say not to put, um, when you're inking, do not use water. I guess it thickens the paint in a bad way, is what I'm guessing. So make sure your plate isn't wet with water. Okay, so release agent. It's slippery. <laughs> there. Okay. Maybe we'll use it. I just hate making more trash so my plate is always dirty <laughs> yes yeah i don't mind it really um as long as it doesn't affect the prints that's fine so it said to roll on and then um wait five minutes roll this on as even as possible and then we'll see what happens. Put a little more extra on there. And let's wipe that off. Okay, so what time is it? 27, so 1.32. So I was thinking of this too would be, I wonder if it would work with your acrylic paint, but I'm not sure. But we can always try it. Even, I'm gonna try it even, um, I wonder if it would work the opposite. So, have the release agent on it first and then put your metallic. We'll see. I seem to remember watching them do that. 
on their channel. There, he cleans up easy. All right, so what have you guys been doing? See, Lena's got her jelly plate out. Maybe I should look for some more um, stencils. Just for the heck of it. Nails. So while we're waiting here, oh, let's try a butterfly. I like that one too. And let's see, what else can we do? That one's kind of cool. Um, and that one. Three more minutes. So, have any of you ordered this? Did I enable anybody? I thought I would try um, all kinds of different tissues, even the backing of napkins to see how it's going to work on the gel plate. So I think I'm probably going to start another concertina book. I really like that one. Um, maybe start a series. We'll see. I think Lena wants to join in every once in a while. Lena, we could probably pick an afternoon instead of the evening. <laughs> that's, that's pretty hard on you, considering you're six hours ahead of me. So you just have to let me know, you know, a reasonable time for you. Then we can, because it was fun, because, um, you know, when I'm drying or deep in thought <laughs> or, or vice versa, we can keep the um, conversation going sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time, but sometimes. I'm always game on for a new challenge. Yeah, we'll have to figure out something. Maybe we could go um, Halloween, probably. Maybe, maybe even do the challenge of those monsters, but use the letter, but do not use any of the monsters that are in the book. Make your own up. That might be kind of fun. See how many, see if we can go through the alphabet. <laughs> or we could have people saying what colors we, we should use or... Um, 
emotion or something. That would be fun. All right. Let's see if this works. So I'm going to... I've got a water piece of watercolor paper here, and I'll use one of the butcher. <clears throat> Let's see if this one works. Soaks it up. Let's see. It's still there. It came up a bit. It almost feels like wax. Let's try. Maybe it was too much. I don't know. I think I stained it, is what I think I did. Some of it came up. Let's see what it says. Was it supposed to pull right away? Maybe I read it wrong. Let's see. Metallic ink on plate. Rubber release agent over the metallic. Wait for five minutes and then print. Hmm. No? I don't know. Didn't. Nope, still on there. So, I don't know. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Does come off. Wait. Ready? Come on. There. You just have to use a little bit of elbow grease. Probably would have came off. Maybe it was the paper. Not um, absorbent enough. Well. I don't know. I'm just going to throw this while it's wet. I think it loosens it. it. This was on there for quite a while. Well, that's good. You can use it for a cleaning, too. Could have had a bit too much on the first time. There. Good as new. All right. 
I'm just going to throw that on just to dry it up. Nothing. But it did come off a lot more. It's still, it could come off. See, I can wipe it with my finger. Well, let's try this gold, shall we? Okay, we've got to stir it. Yum. Um, okay. All right, so we can roll it. That's the nice thing about this. I keep saying this, but I, I think it's so cool. <laughs> I keep saying it. Is that you don't have to worry about time. You can think about things. how much you need on this but we'll put a little bit more on Let's see what happens when we have a thicker layer don't know how much to put on with this stuff so you either take forever to dry if it's too thick or it might be just right but you kind of have to do play with your stuff to learn what will work She could roll and roll and roll because it's never going to dry on here. I shouldn't say never, but it doesn't totally dry. Okay. Now it's not going to be like thick, thick, um, opaque, I don't think. I still have to learn myself, so I don't know what it's going to do. So let's. Hmm. We could just do an assortment. 
of things. And then just cut them out if we wanted to. Let's do kind of a mishmash of stuff. I'm going to take a paper napkin of the backing just to get this stuff off. Let's see what it does. Because we can always use this napkin too. what they say to do that and then roll on this stuff so I'm guessing now all of this will be still wet on here so I can use that on anything really um I guess I should have put it Another uh, plate of some sort to roll this on, just to get it on my brayer. Let's see, do I have a palette paper? I have a palette paper here. Should work. And I'm gonna scoop. I don't wanna get it. Some of this. I'm just off the side here putting it on a palette paper. I guess I need to wipe this brayer too. If you have more than one brayer, it's probably a good idea to get that out so you don't have to be washing it every time. I do have another one, I just have to get it. Get and then dry it. Hey Kathy! We're seeing what this gold does. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on half of the um, plate and see what the difference is. So I'm going to put it on the bottom half. I don't 
know how much you need to brayer it, but that's as far as I'm going to go. Wait five minutes, it says. So while we're waiting, we can do something on this one. So let's see. This lace one's kind of pretty. I'm going to put this over here. And you know, let's put this on there. And let's see if it comes off with this. Now this has a shiny side and a dull side. I'm just going to pat it down. any of that gold in between. make it thicker. I really don't know. No, it doesn't. Okay. Then let's put this on. My paints came. I haven't tried them yet. Oh, awesome. Did you get the introduc introductory set? Let's try and, um, we'll lift it with black. See what it does. You did? Okay. Has it been five minutes? I didn't look. Hey, Linda. Oh, you used uh, a Kua. Linda, did you use the gold metallic one? Or how thick are you supposed to put it on? Because it, it doesn't look like much when it's on a plate. It looks like there's hardly anything on. But as you've seen before, it does print a lot darker than what you would think. Uh, give it another minute and then we'll try it. We'll see what what the difference is. Thank you. 
Okay, so let's put it on. Get paper. I don't get my hands all in it. On the sides. Might as well do that one too. So this one does not have it on it. Well, that's kind of cool. It's hard for you to see, but it's very, very almost um, hidden. And then when you turn it a certain way, you see it. It's actually kind of cool. I like it. There's still some on there, I see. So. Let's put this on, see if we get another hole. Do it on the back of this one. Mm, one fifty six, so we'll pull that at two o'clock. I like that. That is really cool. Maybe if we put a, a bit more on, you see that it's very, it's, it is very detailed. It's hard to see though. I can see it. It's actually neat. See, that one didn't have any on it. There's hardly anything that came up. That's interesting. So let's put some on there. That's interesting. I think it needs to go on thicker. I'm going to try one. Um, let's see. We'll do this one here. See what we get. 
I'm going to put it through the stencil maybe. So how's the um, picture and the volume? Is it any good? Or do I need to lighten it for you? I'm watching on StreamYard, so sometimes it's a little bit of a lag. It's good? Thanks. Now, there is a waiting period with this, and I know you guys don't like waiting. <laughs> Nobody does. But I guess it's for it to soak into the uh, <clears throat> paper. So that one got hardly anything. It's interesting. So I wonder if this stuff would work for um, when you're doing other paints, if it would, um, I don't know. It's almost like maybe this um, lifts the paint that's on the, plate already and then uh, makes it grab into the paper when you lift it I don't know how it works but it did work I, I don't see that much of a difference on this one though both of them are basically the same it's pretty uh, there, now let's pull it. Let's see what we get. Because it does clean the plate. See, it takes up everything. I think that's what it does, is it soaks into the plate. And cleans it. So it must be just soya or something in there. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say on here what is in it, of course. It's her secret recipe. Look at that soak. Yeah, took up all the leftovers. It's kind of cool. It gives it a um, kind of an aged look. It's neat. So let's. Wipe that. Still a little bit on. I don't think 
think I had enough paint on that one. So, not, I think you need quite a bit of paint. I'm going to try it one more time. I know, I know. I'll just do one. And then, uh, it does clean your plate, though. <laughs> I don't know what it would do as far as acrylics, but it seems to clean your plate. And the uh, soy oil will be good for your hands. <laughs> it's non-toxic, people. No worries. So I'm going to put a generous amount. And let's see. Should do a big one. I'll cover the whole stencil. Then I get a big one. Let's see what we can get. This one would be cool. Let's do this one. And When you get new stuff, don't try it just once or twice and then give up on it if you don't like the results. Change something that you're doing. Or look at more videos of other people that are trying it, or experts. I haven't worked with this ink before last week. So this is new, new toy. pretty. I think it's the uh, thickness, people. I think that's it. I still got lots on there, so I'm going to take one of these. This is the um, uh, wet strength tissue. Let's use that. Some of that, and then maybe something that's getting ghost prints. And let's get another piece of black, see what we get off of it. There's still quite a bit on there. Feeling good today, and your hands are all better. Oh, 
were you looking? <laughs> that was fun. Almost did a mermaid, Sandra. I was thinking about you. Cool. Those are, I like those. They're kind of cool. Let's see if I put this onto here. If it'll transfer onto my plate. Mm. Nope, that's my roll off thing. Let's just pick it up with this. I just want to smoosh it down. There's still more on there. let that dry and let's pick this part on these without the release let's see what we get anything on here. Yeah. That's pretty. So it just gives it that really uh, shimmer. So it's more of a shimmer than a metallic. Pretty. Um, we still have a long way to go. Oh, wow. Yeah. Keeping my prayers for you. interesting oh guys oh, look what it does can you see that it weeps with aqua yes I did Sandra. oh that's cool it, it like the golden stuff so there must be some copper or um, bronze in this because that's what it's doing Interesting. Let's see, can you see the aqua in here? It shows more in person. Oh, hmm, that's interesting. I like those. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit of that. Not, not as much. I'm going to put a little bit of that um, release agent on here.
That's interesting. Hmm. Okay, what time is it? Okay, so at 20 after, I will lift that. Let's see what happens. So that's got a little bit left on it. I'm going to leave it. If it comes up with a color, that's great. So let's try out. This is uh, Series 3 Thalo Blue. What's this one? Uh, Queen Magenta. Let's see what this is like. What is that you put on? It's a release agent. A lot of times, um, um, metallics will tend to stick to your plate. They don't totally release. And this stuff's supposed to help it. You put it on after you've put down the paint. Yummy stuff. So if you're buying any of the um, metallics, probably a good idea to look into that. I don't think they have a whole lot of metallics, like silver, gold, and copper, I think. see if it's if we put more paint in what kind of poles we get because I use a really small amount last week. The poles were great, but they weren't dark. So just think, well, let's try this. gonna what do I want to do here let's put this down just playing seeing how this stuff works and I have this paper here Let's put this off to the side while it dries. Mm, 
not as much as I wanted. Let's try it. Put some plants on it. Mm. That has gold on it. Let's just throw that on just see so just just to see what happens. Same. Maybe yeah, we'll just do that. Hmm, oh, I don't know, too many ideas. I'm gonna put all this stuff, I have no room. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this over here. So I can put my plants over here. Okay. Let's just use this. And see it's see-through. That's the soya. I find doing um, this type of jelly printing when you're not sure how things work, you can spend <laughs> hours and hours and hours doing it. And it, you never realize how much time has passed. Mm, beautiful color. These are even cool, these, um, it almost looks dendritic. Let's try a piece of paper. I should put it over that. Pick up those dendritic areas. This one on here and lots of goodness on there. I'm gonna leave those because they don't dry. <laughs> and let's pick it up with another one of these. And then we can go back in and add more on top of it too.
Now, let's see what we can get up off of this guy. Gonna take a piece of paper. Well, that's cool. <laughs> cool. Still some awesome stuff in there. I'm just trying to see what what takes the best. Print. Mm. And this. Okay, so if I were to just put this on top. And then you can use these. Once they dry, just use them as a stamp. It's lots of ink, and it goes a long way. detail in there. There's still a little bit left. I bet if I um, put that um, through my embossing machine, it could pick up some cool stuff. So this is a thicker one. I don't know, there's not as much detail because it was thicker paint. But still kind of cool looking. Because you got your different depths of color depending on how thick it was. I put that back over it in a different position. And roll it. Yeah, it'll print some. That's cool. got gold on it. Let's see if we can print some of this butterfly again. Ooh. I don't know if that will come out. Do I have to put resist on it? I don't know. Let's just try. See what we get. Never know until you try.
a little bit of the butterfly. Very, very, very pale, but it's pretty. You could just go in and do colored pencil or paint, whatever, to that. Um, let's see, we still have a lot on this stuff and this thing, so let's we could just roll it. some cool designs. That's kind of cool on its own. Awesome. And there's still lots on there. So we could just take that up. On. Let's see, what do we got? Where did I put my... Uh, um, that, yeah. Oh, I have another one. I don't know where it just put, how can you lose oh I'm terrible I'm just scatterbrain let's see well let's start a new one here. we have here Ooh, we still got stuff on this one we could just go along the edge yep And pick it up with this one for now. We still even had a little bit of ghosting in there. Isn't that pretty? All 
right. What else can we do with this? Magenta with um, what other color? Where's that purple? Prussian blue. Cabazole violet. Let's give this a look. So go. Wow. Is that ever dark? Throw this on in the just in here. And do we have any more stencils? Maybe this one. Just to play, see what happens. It's like a dioxazine purple. Pretty. have this white pine or let's see. I have some Hanoiki grass that might look kind of cool like that and Maybe some of this. This is smoke bush. Now I could put the whole thing in and just see what happens. Or hmm, I'm going to take some leaves off of it. It's pretty thick. I'm going to just put it in here. Uh, oh, still want. I guess I could do this like that. See what happens. I like doing these. Get. Let's see. Tissue, maybe. Let's try some tissue. I'm going <clears> to <throat> just going to use this.
Oh, 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 look at that, guys. <laughs> oh, there's something. I had a dirty roller, but it took the print of the leaves and the grass and everything. <gasps> you can use your roller as a stamp. Oh, look at that. That's cool. And then I also have this side. Look, I have both. That one or that one. And that one's nice. Oh, and when you, um, yeah, when you glue this down onto a page, this side's going to come through because it goes transparent. So I wonder if I did a dirty roller of a different color. Oh, <laughs> see, <laughs> you can find all kinds of cool things. Just play. Let's see. piece of paper. I want a bit more off in here. so cool i'm glad i'm i'm oh look at that's got even cool the print of the napkin oh then you could print material and you get the design of the of the weave also Oh, there's big possibilities here. <laughs> I love it. Now I can just put this aside and use it later. And remember, I put that down on a clean jelly plate, so I got more of a print. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's full of stuff. And this grass is going to be cool. Ooh, where are we going to put it on? Okay. Hmm. I have to decide what do I want to put it on. Need a soft one, soft color. Let's see. It's already got a bunch of stuff on it. Let's see if I have anything in my old stuff that I could print over top of it. Hmm. Need an extra table. <laughs> but that doesn't need anything. That's too dark. I don't want to mess with that one. I love it.
Maybe it needs just to be on its own. And build on it. I think so. Yeah, I'm going to build and start one with purple. And I like all the stuff I put on it. Kathy, do you pull the gold one yet? No, I haven't yet. Thanks, uh, Lee, um, Sandra. <laughs> I got over excited here. <laughs> Forgot. I will do that next. Let's see what happens. And what should we pull it on? Maybe we should pull it on this. Let's see what happens. Get anything on it or not. Or one of these. Or maybe the ones, the older ones. Let's see. How about if we pull it on this one? enough ink on this one and lift that's interesting I can still see it on the plate a bit but it didn't do much let's put some of these on just I love using these plants I think you get such unusual prints Lay it on the bottom here, like so, and just pull it on here. Why not? Still have the gold coming through. So you could use either side. Let's put some more of the, I'm gonna put well maybe not. Let's just play with it as is just to see what happens. And 
if we just put it on here in the center. pretty and let's see what else can we dream up I really like that though that was awesome so let's keep these over here And that's, oh, we haven't pulled this yet. Isn't that cool? I think that's cool. There's still some on there, too. Um... Russian blue. They just have a whole lot more detail, I find. And I don't think it is the fact, I don't think it's good to put too much on your plate. Okay, I'm not going to roll this off. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm just going to lay some stuff down. Like that. And... Maybe even like this. Now, let's put, we have some, um, oh, this is when um, those, uh, if you have any stencils with, that are, are, um, Masks would work. Let's put a couple leaves down here like that. Like that. Great. And maybe that's good enough. So let's, now you need um, tissue paper or the backs of your napkins is what I've been using. So I'm going to try one on, this is the uh, uh, 
wet strength tissue paper. I'm going to try it on this. Okay. Now it might be too full. I don't know. We'll see. But all you can do is, well, I think I might roll it off onto just a bit. I think that's so cool. See? So it's like a relief. Now if I were to just think I'm just playing here. Trying to find the coolest print. Okay. So you get that's kind of cool. That's just rolling over stuff. You get quite a bit of detail in those leaves. That's cool. All right. Let's see. What else can we do? Oh, we could take stamps. Let's use some of these stamps here. I have this long stamp. So let's put it on this. Perfect for this. I should have something to print it on because there's no point in wasting. I hate wasting. So let's make this our experimental page. Mm. Let's move this. I, I do. I need a bigger table, and I already increased the size of my table. You need a huge table when you're printing. Then we can put her in here. We'll just take our roller. Cool. How many times do you think we'll be able to print? Oh, it's getting lighter. Make it smaller in here. Not bad. So we got that. I love using, let's use some rubber stamps, see what they are like. And you just, they'll stay wet on your stamp, so don't worry about it. Here's a writing stamp. Okay, I have this one and I have a writing stamp. Let's see what the writing stamp does. 
Oh, look at the detail on that. Look at awesome. So it takes real fine. Yeah, you just wipe them with a clean cloth afterwards. You don't have to rush. They won't dry. Uh, let's see. What else? What do I got in here? Oh, I was going to take some of this. I don't want to do this. What else I got? Hmm. I have some. Uh, that's similar to that, though. Let's see. So I have this. This is a birch. Birch leaves are usually good to do. They kind of look like um, the leaf of these flowers. So hmm. I, I could put one over here. And crazy weeds and See, this is a, uh, what I like is that I don't have to rush because the Paint doesn't dry on the plate. And you'd probably like them, Xander, because you don't have to press hard. So it would be good for your hands. I need to go to the ladies room. So I better go. I will watch the play. Okay. Have a good day. Lost sound. Can you still hear me? Does anyone else lose sound? Oh, good. Okay. okay.
Okay, so there's what that looks like. That's cool. Look at all how detailed that is. Let me just take these off. And then if I wanted to, oh, I already printed with those, but I could take these that I, I put on uh, If we can print that on the other one, pink one, maybe. Hmm. Put it on this one, see what it does. We might use lose that butterfly. Other ones we got here. Um, hmm. Let's see if we get anything off of these. Where's my roller? Roller. A little bit kind of a background we'll see all right let's just put it back onto this let's see what happens you can always make another one let's see um the front or the back i guess it doesn't really matter do that and I'm just gonna roll it the leaves just took off you should put back on pole yeah, I will. They didn't come up. Well, it came up a little bit. Not as much. But that's still good. Um, what, these ones? I don't know if they'll give me a whole lot. We'll see. Yeah. A bit. That's cool. And let's see.
could just let's see kind of need one for rolling your ink if you want to just roll your plants with it I think let's see experiment here I just roll this. Probably <laughs> just use the roller, it would print. Mind is going a mile a minute here. Thinking of stuff. Um, well, let's try this. I wanted to try this. So I'm going to just put it down like this. And Something a little stiffer because of the wood on it. I'm not necessarily interested in this pole. Now, sometimes they are nice, but it's more about the after pole. And using this, um, that's kind of cool. Using, oh, that's going to be cool. Okay. I'm going to put it upside down like that. And then paper. Oh, how am I going to do this? Thinking. Do I just roll it? Had a stencil underneath, and the print was also on there. <laughs> That's funny. All right. we use that on this one I think I'm going to use it on this one I'm 
And you use this one. And this. Let's see if it picks it up. Do I have lace? Hmm. Let me think. I might. I'm not sure. I don't have a whole lot of fabric. I have like, I might have some doilies, that type of thing, but I don't think I have any lace, lace. Let me check while these are percolating. The only thing I have is like this. That's all I got. But you could use anything that's got a texture to it. It doesn't matter how fine. I think it would pick it up. Like, um, Very light. Let's see what else we can figure out.
practice for rolling off. Okay, that's too thick. work. Um, okay, so let's cut a piece of this. And let's just see what it does. I'm going to wrinkle it. Should I use a napkin? I'm going to cut a piece of this tissue here. on then or do you want me to just pull it with this oh thanks Sandra do you want me to pull it like this either way I'll do um, I want to see the Fold, see if the folds. Maybe I'll pull it this one, this one, and then I'll add another color and pull it with another one. This is just copy paper that I'm using. Anything on here? We roll it. Mm -hmm. A little bit. It would soak into the fabric. That's one thing. Good thing if you want to use it for um, making um, some kind of a fabric bag or something, and you want to print, you could use. Something that's fairly smooth, like um, a nice cotton or something that's absorbent. Don't use polyester or nylon. It'd have to be a, like a cotton, but a fairly nice, smooth cotton. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. See, see the folds. 
That's almost like a photograph. That's cool. Wow. That is neat. You can see the folds and everything. Huh. So, yeah, any kind of fabric. See how and that was a fairly thin, like it's not very thick fabric. That is really neat. Oh, think of the possibilities, Andra. <laughs> this could be fun. Let's um, let's see what can we put with that. Hmm. Blue and. See what other colors I got here. Oh, we already did that one. This one is brown, umber. I did get a white. I wonder. Let's see if the white will print over top of this. That might be interesting. Where did I put my baby wipes? Oh, for Pete's sakes. Baby wipes. Oh. Very interesting. That's really thick. on this. We could throw it on here just to see. I wonder if the gold would would do better with a stamp. That's cool. Chloe's not down here. All right, this will be the last poll. 
whatever it's going to be. <laughs> um, let's see. We could put... more let's put some more um oh i wanted to try this out this is a hydrangea well it might be kind of cool to press the flower on Oh, that's cool. See if we can transfer that white. Chloe found a way to open the fridge. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't put a bastard. <laughs> Girl's a smart cookie. I got a little bit of a. That's cool. A little bit of transfer so if you were to it actually looks pretty on the flower too <laughs> let's put it on oh no i don't want that hmm. we want something dark maybe hmm. what should we put that on this or this or should it be on its own hmm. what do you think what should we pull it on of paper on its own on black or white Black or white? Deli? Okay. This isn't deli, it's that other stuff. But it's better. I know it's hard to hard to think what I want. I can probably get a couple. There's a few little seeds and stuff in here. <laughs> This is that uh, wet strength deli. Yep. 
Okay, so remember I had a bit of it's pretty. Very pretty. Let's pick this remainder up on black. Um, I might have to come back and play some more. Hmm, not best. It's more. It's not as uh, detailed. I have some actual petals, <laughs> but it's it's interesting. I'm going to have to play with that one some more, I think. Let's wipe this. These are seeds and little debris from the flower. May as well wipe that up. Very cool. All right. So I'm going to play with that more, I think. I don't know if you guys will want to watch or not. Let me know. Um, I'm not sure what when. I might wait till my son gets home. So, so the dogs aren't too upset. You can see the... See the... That's pretty. That's the print from the flower itself. I like I really love that. I think that is so cool. A lot of possibilities. Lots of possibilities. All right. Well, maybe I'll just roll this. Oops. Get rid of the stuff on it too. The white is a little different. Um, I'm not sure what is in it. Must have some kind of a filler clay or something for it to be opaque. Oh, really fine. Yeah, real fine detail. It's awesome. Now I'm going to go around fine and stuff with detail. If I can play. All right. Well, I'll let you guys go. And I'm. Oh, I'll show you what I did. Here. So we have these two. Awesome. That one's me. Might have been better if, if the first pole. This is pretty. It's almost it's almost got a pearlescence to it. It's odd. Uh, what else did we do here? This one. That's kind of neat. Just experimenting. That's a um, piece of pine. Roll-offs. This is cool. Stamps and leaves and uh, stamps. Don't know how I did that part. Oh, that's the that's from stamping into it. That's right. Oh, that's kind of cool. Then you get your your um, white. Instead, ah, and this here, I love that. Soft pinks and gold. Just 
just a bunch of print-offs. This pan. This was gold. But I do like the detail you get. You just have to play with the amount, I think. Because these, these didn't show it because there was too much paint on the plate. But, where are those? That gold one. I don't know where we put it now. Got papers all over the place. <laughs> but yeah. Something to play with, right? I really like that, though. Can't wait to try more of that. I think there's good possibilities with this. This You could swear that was a photograph. Look at the detail. Yeah, the script stamps are fantastic. All right. Well, I better go feed those dogs before they uh, strike. <laughs> All right, you have a good one, and we'll see you later. Have a good weekend.